After spending a month and a half in Santa Marta, it was time for us to get moving. But before we said our see you laters, our friend Reese, an emergency room doctor, had one important skill to teach us. Three bits. Yeah, that's it. So that's nice. Oh, so it like does like a Yeah, hook. your needle can enter at 50, uh, 90 degree angle to the, to the skin. And you can see where it's coming out. Yep. Ow! Should I shout at you like that would be normal? <laughs> we are very grateful Reese taught us how to suture, but we really hope we never have to apply this lesson in real life. Okay, now it's time for us to leave. We keep procrastinating. It is time for us to leave Santa Marta. So we're gonna go to the office and pay our tab here. Hopefully it's not too hefty. <laughs> we stayed here a little bit longer than we had originally planned. Our total bill for our 40-day stay here, including water, electricity, and our cruising and custom fees, came to 1,129 US dollars. Well worth it for all the great people and memories we made during our stay here. Hey everyone, one of the things we noticed while sailing around out here is all of the single-use plastic waste that's found places it shouldn't be. So we've teamed up with Epic Water Filters, who makes reusable filters that can be used anywhere. By using one filter, we eliminate hundreds of single-use plastic water bottles. You can check them out at epicwaterfilters.com and be sure to use discount code EPICONELIFE to get 20% off. We hope you enjoy this episode. All right, we're checked out. Gary's just doing a few more things. And then we are ready. More air conditioning. <laughs> no more air con, boo. <laughs> That's all right. I'm excited to get back on anchor. So for this sale, doing something we've never done before. We've got some new crew with us. We've got a couple friends from here in Colombia that are gonna sail with us to Cartagena and they've never sailed before, so it should be pretty fun. Yeah, we hope they like it, but we're waiting on them to get back to the boat and then we'll untie our lines. Thank you. Thank you so much, Please Gabby. Have a very safe sailing. We will. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes. Ciao. And we're off. We have come to learn the longer we stay in one place, the harder it is to say goodbye. Bye, Santa Marta. Santa Marta Port Control, Santa Marta Port Control. This is Santa Marta One Life. Nope, that one. one Life. Santa Marta Port Control. Yes, I copy. We are headed to Cartagena from Santa Marta. We forgot our water filter <laughs> that we just got. Luckily, our friends at the marina are bringing it to us right now. Port Control saw us turn around, <laughs> so they hailed us on the radio to ask our intentions. I tried to explain that we had forgot something at the dock, but my lack of Spanish was getting us nowhere. Luckily, Michelle was able to explain the situation to the officer, and we were able to continue on our way. We motored back out of the inlet, turned into the wind, and put our sails up. Once the sails were set, Gary explained the wind direction and sail set up to the girls. We decided on a double reef main and reefed headsail. With two new people on board, we wanted to take it easy and be prepared ahead of time in case of squalls. All right, now that we are sailing, it's time to introduce our crew for this sail. Mi nombre es Geraldine, yo estudio Ingeniería Agronómica en la Nacional. Vivo en Barranquilla, pero soy de Bogotá. Ok, so, uh, yo me llamo Michelle, soy de Barranquilla, tengo 21 años, estudio Biología en la Universidad Nacional también. Si algo fuera a pasar a mí y Brooke, digamos que estamos 
sick, unconscious, I don't know, knocked out, <laughs> fall overboard, whatever, and you need to call for help, you put it on channel 16, which you can just press the blue button, or you can use the up and down arrows to go to 16, and then press the button. Say mayday, mayday, mayday. Mayday, like a movie. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> the only time you'd probably ever be doing this, it would be a real emergency. So you would say mayday, 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 and then you'd say the name of the boat. This is one life. And then you would say whatever the problem is. We wanted Michelle and Geraldine to feel as safe as possible. So Gary gave a quick safety briefing, teaching how to call for help explaining the emergency indicator begins and where we keep our life vests. The girls wouldn't be doing any watches or sail changes without us, but we wanted everyone to be prepared just in case. Once feeling confident safety-wise, it was time for a steering lesson. It takes a lot to steer. Yeah, I can see. Okay, now the other way. Yeah, the other way. We turned the autopilot off for a couple hours while the girls took turns steering and trying to follow our route. I think it's safe to say they are happy the autopilot is working. That is the way the boat is going. Uh, so we're headed this way, so turn a little bit this way. <laughs> so don't wait for it. Good start coming back. Here we go. Just coming good, right? Once all the technical stuff was out of the way, it was time to just sit back and enjoy the sail. Everyone's sleeping upstairs. So I just thought I'd come down and make sure everything sounds okay down here. Our autopilot is working. Hey. And uh, yeah, it's a little rolly, but not too bad. So hopefully it stays like this throughout the night. Gary is on watch now, and I'm gonna come down and try to get some sleep before my night watch. And so far, so good. But we're going through the brownish, greenish river water, so Gary needs to pay close attention to the debris in the water. And I'm gonna try to get some sleep in our bed, and this is kind of a new experience because normally Gary and I sleep in the living room on the couch, which we call the snuggle pit. 
but since we have Geraldine and Michelle with us, I'm gonna try to sleep in bed. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> it's a little rolly back here, but I think I'll manage. We passed through the river without having to dodge any tree branches, just in time to enjoy a nice sunset and get settled in for the night. All right, so it is about 7 p.m. and I'm gonna try to make us some tacos uh, before my night watch. So I just woke up and I was able to get a couple hours rest, so that was good. Uh, we'll see how this taco process goes. <laughs> I typically try to make passage food before our sail, but the weather was forecasted to be pretty smooth sailing, so I figured I'd do it while underway. I mean, how hard could it be to make four taco bowls while sailing? Gary just said we might be getting a squall, <laughs> of course, right in the middle of dinner. Despite things sliding all around and the wind picking up, I successfully managed to cut all the toppings and keep everything on the counter and off of the floor. Four taco bowls. <laughs> and let's just say things went downhill from here. Only two of us ended up finishing dinner before the wind started howling and the seas kicked up. The rest of the night, the girls stayed down below while Gary and I tended to sails and kept us on track. This was not the weather forecast we were expecting. Gary and I were quite happy to see the sun come up. After a hectic night, it was quite magical to share this moment with Michelle and Geraldine. The ocean can change so quickly. Less than a few hours ago, we were white knuckled at the helm. And now, here we are, feeling on cloud nine. What's going on up there? Oh, just the Colombian dolphin show. <laughs> Last night got pretty hectic. This morning though, dolphins, 10 knots on the beam, calm seas. Changes so quickly. Let's see what we got last night. I'm not actually sure. 
it hit 40 knots at one point. That's a lot. It was, uh, it was a tough one. The, the swells were so big that we were getting tossed around so much that we had to turn off the autopilot and enhance here through most of the night. So me and Brooke took two hour shifts of hand steering as the boat was surfing down waves and the double digit knot speed. It was pretty, pretty tough. We're pretty tired. Luckily it's only a one day sail. So we should be into Cartagena in five or six more hours. Get to enjoy a little bit of this now. Well, last night was eh, not enjoyable. We had 40 knot winds and probably three to four meter seas. Uh, we weren't expecting that. But anyway, the girls handled it like a champ. They just came down and went to bed feeling a little seasick, but they pulled through. And then this morning, the dolphin show, and I think they're feeling a little better about sailing this morning. But anyway, we are about four hours from Cartagena and I'm gonna make us some smoothies to start our day. And hopefully we will be there soon and won't have any more bad weather. So we didn't film at all last night because we were just worried about, we just wanted to make sure we kept everyone safe. And uh, plus you can't really see much in the dark anyway. But it's all the reality of sailing. It's not always uh, rainbows and kittens out here. <laughs> all right. We had Geraldine and Michelle join us for our sail from Santa Marta to here in Cartagena. Eh, el viaje co me pareció como emocionante, relajante también. Mi parte favorita fue cuando vimos los delfines esta mañana y comer tacos a la noche. <laughs> y pues la parte como mala, pues no mala, sino menos buena fue los ruidos en la noche cuando todo se caía y como que hubo una ola muy grande y me cogí muy duro y me dolió el brazo y pues definitivamente la mejor parte fueron los delfines eso hizo que absolutamente todo todo valiera la pena eh, me encantan los animales así que fue una experiencia de verdad hermosa para mí y pues me enfermó un poquito pero no importa los delfines hacen que todo se me olvidara ya yeah. nice. um, would you guys come sailing with us again or no yes I would yeah sí on, on a short sail yes a day sail like this yes yeah <laughs> awesome yeah it was pretty rough last night <laughs> I was feeling sick <laughs> We really enjoyed having Michelle and Geraldine on board. It was nice to show them a bit of what our life is like, since they so graciously showed us theirs when we visited Barranquilla. Anyway, here we are making our way into the city of Cartagena, so we will leave you guys right here. Cheers, everyone. Ciao until next time.